Reports say that the levels at Jana Elementary in Hazelwood School District are 20 times higher than normal. Nuclear weapons were produced in the area during World War II. That school now transitioning to virtual learning back to how they operated during the COVID pandemic. Parents are understandably afraid and frustrated. Erica Hart has two children at the school in second and fourth grades. Joining us live now, Erica, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I can't imagine dealing with this news as a parent. Uh, what did you think when you heard that the school was being shut down due to radiation? Um, when I first heard the news, I was extremely sick to my stomach. Um, just to let um, you know that we actually found out through various uh, news outlets and also uh, Facebook posts before we were notified by the school that the school was exposed to radiation. So it was extremely difficult to hear that. I immediately left my desk to pick up my kids from school when I heard the news. I mean, it must have just been a sickening feeling. And we know that your kids um, have asthma. They suffer from seizures as well. You just saw a doctor on Friday. Uh, what are your concerns about the, their potential exposure to radiation at that school? Yes, my son, the fourth grader, um, has chronic asthma. Um, also, my daughter has focal motor seizures. Uh, my Biggest concern is that their health issues is now, um, it, you know, due to just the radiation exposure. Um, my biggest concern is that at this point we're not get, getting any medical advice, you know, from from this, the the St. Louis County. Um, I went to our pediatrician on uh, Friday and I was informed that they're waiting for the direction of St. Louis County to let us know if there's any tests or any screenings or even signs to look for about what's going on with our kids. So at this point, they have no information to provide on a health perspective. Do you, are, you, are you concerned? Do you believe that their current health issues may be linked to exposure that they've had? Did it start after they started attending school there? Um, Morgan's, um, yes, her exposure, uh, her experience that started after. Um, and Bryson, he actually was hospitalized. Um, I think he was a second grader and he was in ICU for at least five days due to asthma. Um, and we were just wondering, like, where is this coming from? It's not getting better, but I honestly believe that some of their health issues may be linked to the exposure of radiation. And, and so we, you've pulled the children from school at this point, is that right? Yes, the, the kids are, um, they were out of school all last week. Whenever we heard the news on Tuesday, um, they would start virtual learning on uh, Monday. But moving forward, um, they may go to different schools, um, which is a huge concern. You know, right now we have a national crisis with bullying. Um, it may be a concern because maybe the kids at school know that they're experiencing, you know, the radiation issue. And maybe they're calling the kids, you know, being mean, saying that they don't want to play with them because, you know, they're now contaminated or they're dirty. So this is a huge issue that I don't think the school district is taking serious. Well, I mean, that is my last question for you. Has the reaction to this situation been adequate so far in your eyes? Absolutely no. It's, it's no transparency. My biggest issue is, yes, um, it was no empathy there during the PTA meeting, but the biggest issue is, yeah, we know what's going on as far as from a, you know, education standpoint, but what about their health? No one is concerned about their health moving forward. To say to, you know, parents that right now is no concern if you're not experiencing any health issues, you know, maybe 30, 40 years, when the chances show up and then you'll see um, possible issues. I think that's just wrong to, you know, to even hear from a, from a parent or, you know, for any health issues to say to us. I mean, how would you put into words the emotion of this period of time? Is it just anger? Is it frustration? Is it terror? Is it fear? I am fearful. I'm terrified. You know, I try to be strong in front of my kids. Um, you know, I explain to them what's going on. Um, just letting them know, hey, this is what's going on with extra school. This is the reason why. And just to hear from the kids, I'm terrified of getting cancer. It hurts. And it's hard as a parent to see your kids hurt or to see them scared, you know, fear of getting, you know, cancer. But the lack of you know, help that we're getting from, you know, the local, you know, government, the, um, you know, local officials, like, where are those people? They knock on our door every single election season. They want to put, you know, yard signs out, but where are those people now when we're crying for help for our kids?
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.